Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month. My name's Bob Willis. Defect of the Month is taken from the NPL Defect database. This month, let's look at outgassing. Now, outgassing of printed circuit boards has been around in the industry for many, many years. People refer to the defect associated with outgassing as pinholes or blowholes in the solder joint. And they're generally seen in the top and on the bottom side fillets on plated through holes after wave or selective soldering. Because the top of the fillet normally solidifies bef before the bottom fillet, what tends to happen is holes or voids are seen in the surface of the joint on the bottom side of the board. Through x-ray and microsection these voids can be seen. However, there is no evidence to show that this impacts the reliability of a plated through hole joint. In recent times, with lead-free technology, the same type of defect has been seen. However, the visual appearance is slightly different in that many of the lead-free alloys do not have a true eutectic point. So consequently, during the solder solidification, you can actually f see uh, voids in the solder joint, but you can actually see balloons forming on the plated through holes around joints or just in through holes with no lead included. Fundamentally, the reason for this particular defect is moisture in the printed circuit board, which will always be there. In a plated through hole, as the soldering process heats the board and the surrounding area, the moisture turns to a gas and escapes through either thin or uh, breaks in the plating. Consequently, this, continue, this can continue for 20 or 30 seconds. The soldering process only lasts for 2 to 8 seconds. So consequently, outgassing cannot be driven off with very short pre-baking operations to get rid of moisture. They can be easily tested or a board can be easily tested for outgassing using the oil test. And it's something that I've conducted for many, many years and is a very simple way of seeing this phenomena take place. However, you can also test boards by simply placing a soldering iron on the joint and recording the amount of outgassing that takes place. And this is indicative of either thin or porous plating in the plated through hole. It can be caused by some other process issues and design related issues, but the PCB outgassing is the most common reason for its occurrence. Another opportunity to solve your soldering process problems has been brought to you by IPC. This is the NPL Defect Database Live, a feature that has been organised at Apex this year. So why not join us on stand 217 at Apex for free consultancy on any of your process defects.